All right, um, I'm making a little video here to explore the multi-riff feature a little bit more. Um, I just made a long new features video with uh, all of the new features in Banner Box 2020, and I did explore that a little bit in there, but um, a lot of people have been talking about wanting to use the multi-riff feature right in Band in a Box, and that's possible as well, of course. Uh, in the long new features video, I mostly uh, talked about using the multi-riff feature th to then drag the tracks into another DAW. But uh, you can certainly still do work with it um, just right within Band in a Box as well, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, I haven't actually done this yet myself. I'm kind of experimenting uh, as well here, so, but I thought I'd just try a few things out and, and show you guys, and we'll see together how well it works. So I've got a style loaded here, Sierra Mountain Folk. And um, I put a, a mandolin soloist, one of the new ones, this pop tremolo one on the soloist track here. Uh, you can see here, you can see it's got an equal sign in front of it. Uh, that's a new feature that that's an indication that this uh, was added. That's not part of the style itself. All these other instruments are part of the style, but that equal sign means that it's been added to it. Um, so, uh, uh, that being said, I was thinking maybe I would have this mandolin soloist just do a solo over the first four bars of this, and, um, and that would be it. And, um, and I would use the multi-riff, so I would get seven versions of it. I could sample a few of them and find one that I'd like best, and then, uh, keep that one and bring the other tracks back in and have that as the soloist, uh, and I would be putting it on the... Um, on the audio track. So I'll give that a try right now. So um, I'll highlight these four bars and uh, I'll right click on this on the mandolin track here and I will go to generate multi riffs. That brings us here and there it is already selected there. So I'll hit OK. And because I had those four bars highlighted, it's uh, already uh, entered that in, bar, starting at bar one and four bars long. So I'll press OK, and it'll probably just take a few minutes to uh, do what it does. And it's only four bars, so I guess that's why it was uh, pretty quick, so that that's nice. I'll bring the mixer back up here. And now what I'll do is I'll solo one of the tracks. I don't want to play them all together because that'll be a, a great big mess. But I will type L4, which is the code for loop four bars, and comma one, uh, comma one, meaning starting at bar one. So it'll just loop bars one to four right now. Okay, I, I like that, that's kind of nice. I also like it a bit more too because it's got reverb on it. The reverb settings and the pan settings were all uh, are all kept from the style itself uh, in this case. So um, the reverb makes it sound particularly nice, but it's a nice part as well. So, But I'll listen to a couple more. Uh, you know what? I think I like that one. So we, I could listen to the rest of them, but I like that one. Uh, so I think I'd like to keep that one, and I'd like to put that one on the melody track. So what I can do, that is now riff three out of the seven that it made. So if I right-click in the drag-drop area here, I can go um, open drag-drop folder, and there it is. It is riff three is the one I want there. So I've got that there. So what I'm going to do now in Band in a Box again is I'm going to actually remove all of these. So I'm going to go into the Real Tracks Picker and I'll just go Clear All. I don't want to disable the Real Tracks that are part of the style though. So I'll hit No. Close that. So now we're back to the, the starting point there. But we do of course have this, um, this soloist here that we picked as the one we wanted. Now I want that at bar one. Now uh, in the with the feature, you can you uh, 
by default, it shows you here that it goes um, add an extra bar before, which is a good thing. Uh, so when I uh, when I bring this in, I have to keep that in mind that I won't, don't want to put it at bar one. I'd probably want to put it at bar negative one, which is one which is the second half of the count in. Um, oh, actually, bar zero, I suppose. Anyway, regardless, I will um, uh, let me go into the audio edit window now, and I'm going to drag this. So now let me bring this over here. Now I'll drag this and drop it right there at bar zero, right? Because this is bar one, uh, but it, it generated an extra bar at the beginning. So I want to put it there. Um, I could actually fine tune it if I wanted to. This is, uh, but that's fine. Uh, one tick early. I'm sure that's not going to make any difference at all. So, and that makes a lot of sense there that the, the bar starts here and the riff starts here uh, for the, the playing of that. So we've now brought it back in. It's now on the audio track. Um, I'll give it some reverb uh, right off the bat, uh, just because I know that's going to sound better. And um, yeah, let's give this a listen now. Oh, I'm still in loop mode. <laughs> I'll type LO to turn loop off. So there you go. That's uh, That was using the multi-riff feature just within Band in a Box and uh, getting the, the part that you want right on the audio track at the end. I hope you enjoyed that.